Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, welcome back to Awesome Knots. Today we're taking a look at a uh, very new character in the beta, so we're only going to be playing against bots. This is Dizzy, Froggy G's girlfriend, sister, something like that, hopefully not both. Anyways, she has a multi-dash, uh, you can increase the damage of that, uh, you can reduce damage, uh, incoming damage by up to 50%. You can get an additional dash, but reduce all the damage of the dashes by 15%, which is uh, kind of okay, I guess. Increases range of last available dash by 25%, increase reload speed by 40% when no enemies are near, and then reduce the remaining cooldown of the explosive for uh, 0.5 seconds for each successful dash hit. So uh, you can use your clone even more. The clone is really, really nice. Um, the range isn't too huge, but it is definitely something nice and different compared to uh, Froggy G's Whirlwind. So the clone can have the size of the explosion increase, the damage, of course, of the explosion increased, which is obviously something you want to go for. Um, you can add a slow to it. You can reduce the uh, delay of the explosion, add a knockback to the explosion, and finally you can uh, get... Uh, a dash back whenever you're hitting someone with the explosion, which I think you should probably go for fake band-aid That seems like a really strong skill. Finally you got the bubble shot really really nice blowfish nozzle Which uh, creates mines basically makes dizzy into somewhat of a sentry character You can increase the damage of the bubble shot, which is really nice increase the range and speed which is sort of okay I suppose uh, increasing attack speed is probably something you'd want to go for to lay as many mines as possible. And then you have the, uh, after hitting someone with a dash, you get a bigger bubble that does more damage. Increases damage by 10% for each available dash. That seems kind of like a dangerous thing, especially since, uh, Dizzy's a character that I like to keep moving on the battlefield. Uh, she definitely doesn't have invisibility frames like Froggy G does, but, um, she works out relatively okay. It's not too bad, and uh, I kind of like her style as well. Obviously, it says some stuff behind her when she starts dashing around. Uh, I think it's mostly just dizzy and dope, which, you know, is pretty dope, I guess. <laughs> uh, nobody says dope anymore. She's totally based off, like, you know, 80s rappers, because that was when rap was good. Anyways, let's uh, see how she does in a real match with some enemies. Uh, still bots, but at least maybe they'll be out here this time, hopefully. So here is young Miss Dizzy, Miss Dizzy Lizzy. Um, I got the Blowfish Nozzle to start, which is going to be really, really nice for uh, laying those mines down. Froggy G and Ayla, I guess, are just going to chill at base. There's been a bit of a problem with the, uh, the bots recently. Uh, I'm not sure what happened in this beta, but most of the bots are broken now. So they end up sitting at base. Hopefully we'll get some uh, people besides the Swiggins out. And if not, that's absolutely fine as well. I want to show off my dash. Boo! Boo! And you can see the nice damage that that does. Uh, basically sent the Swiggins right back to base with only two dashes and a few of those uh, bubbly hits. So I'm going to sit here, whittle away on the turret, uh, admire Dizzy and her braids and her lovely doo-doo pants. I think that's what you call those, right? Doo-doo pants? <laughs> uh, she's got like dreams of being a singer you know and then she's got like obviously a, a very stereotypical voice which i guess is okay for Radamo to do i i'm mm. <laughs> i personally wouldn't go that route in my game although uh sometimes in let's plays i do that they're like this is a black character i got that voice i got that voice <laughs> oh man and there goes the swiggins really really nice uh damage on the explosion obviously and then if you compare that up with uh, gaining another dash back, basically you always have a dash at the ready, which I think is a really, really cool thing. 360 damage, it's not bad. It's definitely not as much as Froggy's Tornado. And Froggy's Tornado also offers um, a speed boost with it, which is a really, really nice thing to add in there. Um, so I wouldn't say that Dizzy is a better character necessarily. She's definitely a bit more uh, tricky and things like that. Which, if you uh, prefer a more harassing character rather than just a damage machine, she might be the one that you want to go for. But um, I'll definitely pick her up when she comes out. Old players of Awesome Knots basically have nothing to buy now that it's gone free to play except for drop pods and uh, 
the new characters that are coming. They've unveiled like four new characters, which I think all look really, really cool. There's like a, a crocodile and a midget with a rocket launcher, which is just fucking crazy. Uh, reminds me of Ulip a little bit. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get that Swiggins. Got to keep an eye on your dashes. Uh, that is one of the issues that I found is uh, I just expect to always have a dash ready, which is definitely not the case. For Augie G, it's kind of like you can mash the button, and if it's ready, it'll go, and if not, then uh, it won't. But Dizzy, I find myself mashing the button, wondering why it's not working, when it's not working. Um, yeah, I still haven't got the, the timing of the dashes quite figured out yet. The cooldown is really, really short, though. Boom. Oh, I missed the Swiggins with the dash and the clone. No good. Kind of just push this droid off my turret. And boom. Uh, did I get him? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it took me just a minute to realize how low his health was and that I should dash again. But okay, there goes the Swiggins. We're 2-0. Oh. Obviously, Dizzy is a, a really, really b bursty character. Um, but yeah, Froggy G does have a beat in that department. I will not hesitate to admit that. Although, um, yeah, she makes a really good harasser. Really good assassin, um, although I would like to see her be just a little bit less squishy. I think that might make her um, somewhat OP, just because, uh, yeah, she she has some uh, different skills, sort of. <laughs> the dash is somewhat changed. Um, you don't get the invincibility frames like Froggy G does, which is really, really unfortunate. So I would like to see uh, a little bit more health added just to compensate for that. And there we go, killing spree. Unfortunately, her music has not been unveiled as far as I know. Uh, somebody might correct me on that with a link. I do hope, if you would be so kind. Uh, but I expect it to be, you know, more of a, a song than Froggy G's rap, you know? We've already got one rapping frog. Hopefully this will be a, a singing frog, you know? That would be something uh, same but different. <laughs> Especially since, yeah, the character is basically a clone. I'm not gonna go f so far as saying like completely a cr clone because obviously she does have some uh, some different moves and some different tactics but um, yeah I'm reminded a lot of Captain Captain Falcon and Ganondorf in Super Smash Brothers Melee you know um, they did have identical movesets basically except for the the speed and the power of them. Froggy G and Dizzy have different movesets, but uh, you can definitely see that the inspiration is the same for both of them. And now we've got some company, a uh, Lone Star and a Clunk, which is uh, going to be pretty fun, I do think. We're going to have a, a good time uh, going three on one in here, which I'm pretty confident. I'm not too scared to, uh, to jump in there with Dizzy, especially because she's got the three dashes. Even though she does take damage during the dashes, it's really hard to predict which way she's going to go with them. Um, just because you can you can literally take it anywhere three directions at a time and I really like that uh, little back and forth thing that I get going oh Lone Star you're done you're done and uh, I'm gonna run away from this clunk I think that uh, I could dish out enough damage on him but it's gonna be pretty difficult yeah it's not fantastic damage and now he's got the health orb but we'll do what we can, and he missed his bite because Dizzy just uh, goes back and forth. Back and forth through the characters, just like that. That's so nice. You're done, Clunk. Boom. <laughs> and I don't think he hit me hardly at all. Super, super awesome. I like this character so much. Uh, I can't wait for her to go live. And obviously it's not going to be as easy when she goes live as it is with the, uh, the bots because Bots don't know what the fuck they're doing, they just kind of stand in the clone, whatever. But, um, yeah, I think she has a lot of potential. Awesome Knots is an extremely twitchy game, um, a very skill-based MOBA, which is one of the things that attracted me to it in the first place. And, uh, it's been one of the longest-running series on my channel. I really, really do like this. I think it's, uh, maybe second, second in the, the most played games in my Steam library. And now that it's free to play and the matchmaking is fixed, it has renewed itself and uh, come back with much more vigor. So I'm really, really excited to see the new characters coming out, uh, even though I will have to end up buying them with uh, 
the in-game currency, I think that's much better than just uh, throwing some money on it. <laughs> because I ain't got that much money nowadays, okay? I, I can't afford all this expansion whatnots. Uh, even Overdrive expansion, I was like not sure if I was gonna buy it, and then uh, I got gifted by my friend Forty, who I still uh, follow on Twitter sometimes. Uh, I always follow him, but sometimes I look at his stuff. Sometimes. Anyways, let's see if we can get this Swiggins. He's on the run. That's just fine. Oh, I was hoping to get him with the clone. Didn't happen. Now that clunk. Are you lurking, clunk? Are you coming? Are you coming to be my friend? <laughs> no, he's not gonna be my friend. But look at the damage on that clone. Getting really, really nice damage. Almost 500 is uh pretty significant, especially if you hit um. A lighter weight character such as Froggy G. Oh yes, or Lone Star. <laughs> and I'm just gonna dash through this clunk, finish him off. The the multi dash is such a slight change, but it does make a huge, huge difference when it comes to playing Dizzy. So I'm gonna stay in the base. We are gonna finish this shit off because um, yeah, I'm scared of no ghost. And Swiggins took some damage. Oh, it is just so nice. So good to be dizzy. Uh, who would have thought that frogs were so strong? They're like one of the the strongest races in Awesome Knot. I don't even know where they come from. It's like a a planet called Ribbit Four or some shit like that. If you're into the Awesome Knots lore, and who wouldn't be? Because it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the fact that they're stronger than Bovinians, who are giant fucking testosterone <laughs> testosterone driven bulls. That's really, really cool. Anyways, uh, it looks like we're about done here. I've m killed these characters multiple times. And uh, I'm sorry for that, but not really. Anyways, <laughs> really, really good. 11 and 0. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode's friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Let me know you enjoyed uh, with any of those. I'd really like to talk with you in the comments, see if you're excited about the new Awesome Knots that are coming out. Have you seen any of them? Should I do a video on that? Uh, what do you think would be the best skill set for Dizzy? Because I'm still kind of up in the air. A lot of her skills are tempting. Um, yeah, I really like the damage increases, obviously. But the other two slots are kind of up in the air. Um, she's got that uh, three move slot syndrome, I guess is what you'd call it in Awesome Knots, where all of her skills are so good that you have trouble picking the two aside from the damage boost which obviously you need on every character always <laughs> it's always what i go for anyways i truly appreciate you watching thank you so so much for your support um this channel is going to grow even bigger i'm super excited for that and i hope to see you next week when we've got a special surprise for all of y'all <laughs> anyways i'll see you then friends thanks so much for watching and until then Oh, bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you.